before the show was released, mm -hmm. there was a little bit of backlash online. Uh, it was actually as the show was released. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we um, the clip of me, the start of me meeting the housing minister was released online and people took that to mean I was making the minister look good because it was the first clip they'd seen and then decided not to watch any of the clip or any of the show and decided that I basically it caused the housing crisis. So that was fun. Um, but I mean, people get emotional and that's fine. You know what I mean? I, mm. I understand that. I understand the kind of the, the trigger reaction to be like, because people are very frustrated or whatever. That's fine. I got a lot of criticism. I only got some abuse. Right. You know, which is, you know, look, it's it's not, that's kind of part of the job, unfortunately. Yeah. But um, yeah. Um, but I think it kind of ended pretty quickly when people realised I was talking to Rory Hearn the, the, the week after that and it was a six part thing and my five minute interview with the housing minister wasn't going to cause anything to happen really. So yeah, um, yeah unusual. I'm not used to it. Do you think you know? it was a prejudging and, and did you think that there's anything which was quite legitimate in what people were saying in terms of the criticism rather than any of the abuse? Yeah. Be, obviously the abuse is beyond the pale but mm. in terms of any critiques or people I think it showed a lot of the emotion that is wrapped up in this situation which so many people of, of the generation are facing. Yeah, yeah. Look, it, it looks cosy. I understand that. I understand that uh, it looks like I don't challenge him. I do in the piece, but probably not as much as I could have done or should have done. And not everything I did or asked was included. So it's kind of like, it is only a snapshot of a six hour day. You know, it's a five minute clip. Most radio segments are 10 minutes or whatever. So we weren't, we weren't going to get into the weeds of it. Um, but I think it's just another way to engage with the minister, as in it's outside of news programming, it's people who might necessarily know his name or his face. And that is the case, mm. unfortunately, that people aren't engaged anymore. Or they don't, you know, whatever. They're, they're not paying attention because things are so bad and have been for so long. So I guess it's another way of asking him questions. And mm. he's a guy who makes decisions. So why not ask him questions mm. at every given opportunity, you know? So, so for people who didn't get to see the episode, which mm -hmm. was the week before last uh, on Virgin Media 1 on Sunday nights, um, you followed him around for two thirds of his day. So yeah. you, were, you were in the back of the car with him yeah. asking him questions before he went out to go and visit a site. Mm -hmm. Did you at any point feel like it was being deliberately sculpted so that he was trying to put his best foot forward and look like it was a sales pitch rather than it being an honest kind of engagement? Well, I mean, that's what he's going to do. That's mm. He's a politician. He answers questions. That's his job. And he's been asked every possible question. So he's a dab hand at this. He knows what he's doing. Um, I, d I don't know. I, th I think there's obviously reasons he said yes to it. Mm. Um, but, you know, I did my best to make sure I challenged him, you know? Do you believe what you were told? No. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> I, I, think, I think, look, I think he believes uh, that he is doing the right thing uh, and he, that he is, you know, helping things or whatever. I don't think it's enough. I think it's very impressive to point at a huge housing estate that you've built that's a thousand houses. But when you think about the actual need we need 30 times that, I think, at minimum, by the government's estimate. So it's kind of like, right, you can show me, if I'd interviewed Owen Murphy, he would have done the same thing. Yeah, exactly. We're building these things. Here's a hard hat. Let's go out here. I'll show you this scheme that we're doing or whatever. It's just at this point, and I do say this to him at the very start of the piece, it's like we've been told for 10 years, it's been a thing my whole adult life and probably even before that, mm. that things are returning a corner. I can't wave a magic wand, you know, I can't fix things overnight, but mm. you know, there's been a lot of overnight. So mm. what are you actually doing? So it's kind of, I don't think we, we come to a conclusion in it. I think I'm very much like people can scrutinize what he said to me, but I really have to reserve judgment until something actually happens yeah. because I've seen all this before.